Hello, Monsters of Banyan, and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms and part three of my Huang Shao campaign as the Yellow Turbans. Last time we defended Dong with Guan Hai running off for a little cry towards the end of the battle, but successful nonetheless. The only slight issue is that I don't know how long we'll manage to hold Dong. My, my Dong is under constant and serious attack. The problem is my Dong is deep in, in enemy territory, surrounded by my foes. And I just think that we, we fend off one attack, we're going to get another one fairly soon. What I want to do is try and expand into this corner over here. Because I feel like if we can expand that corner, then we're, we're looking potentially a little better. And I basically need to replenish my army. So what I'm going to do is bring you out. Why can't I ambush? Sprout ever upwards to heaven. Because apparently I've used all my movement points. Okay, not the, the end of the world. So what I want to do, in fact, I could just show it. What I want to do is I want to keep my mustering bonus. Am I? Did I lose my mustering bonus? Well, oh, fuck it. I'm still getting plenty of replenishment. Anyway, the point is that um, I need to. I need this army to be healed up. I know Leo Bay's out here somewhere. Currently, he's at Dong Pin, maybe. And obviously we've got this guy who's causing me all kinds of issues. Sao Sao's to my south as well. War with Yuan Shao, war with... Well, not war with Gong Sun Zan yet, but give that time. Basically, I'm surrounded by enemies and I, I need... I need somewhere I can defend... So that I can build up my economy so that I can get more... Oh, for fuck's sake... Okay, I've got two options here. I can... What do I do? What do I do? If you lay siege to me, what I could do is like... On the march. Lay an ambush. Because if you lay siege to me, I'm going to take attrition anyway, right? So if I stay outside the city, then either he has to attack me... In which case, I can bring my reinforcements in from the city, and that might help, or it might just... I don't know, really. To be honest, I think Dong's lost anyway. Resist corruption and endure my Dong's gone. Okay, there is a little army there. I wonder if we might be able to lure it in. So I'm going to head back here. I'm going to lay a little ambush and see what happens. I think I just have to assume that Dong's gone. I just have to... I just have to live with that, because I, I can't defend it. Oh, for fuck's sake, there's Leo Bay. Right, Leo Bay is a problem, because he comes with his two brothers, both of which are fucking terrifying in battle. Hello? Okay, you spotted me and just decided to run away a little bit, did you? My ambush succeeded. Okay, good. I mean, it doesn't really help me. Do I? I don't know where my... Re Sometimes the reinforcements take time to come onto the battle, though. I'm tempted just to fucking let him take it, because I can't... probably defend this. Oh, I think I'm going to withdraw. Okay, Leo Bay's down there. That's an issue. Coalition... Oh, good. Um, so... Well, I, I genuinely have no... I fuck, right, so you've, you've become... Right, a military alliance. Fine. Disease? Disease... Okay, you get... Le oh, we get a lot of less enemies. Oh, oh, oh. For the people! Could I do this? I think I'm just I'm just going to accept that we've lost it because I can't defend that and everything else at the same time. I could hit Leo Bay. If I can kill Leo Bay, then I could potentially get some of this real because if I can capture like Zhang Fei or Guan Yu, then I can get like the green crescent blades and Serpent Spear. 
or whatever the fuck those are. And that would be quite nice. Not its oppressive warlords. You've got fear and discipline. That would be nice. Honor your ideals. I don't know how well, I mean you can get over here, but I don't know if you can actually reach us. Leo Bay is the main threat. So I feel like I should take him out first. The Sword Guard Cavalry are nasty. But I feel like we can I feel like we can win. I feel like we can win. Let's fuck it, we're going for it. Plus he's marching, so he's tired. It says Valiant Defeat, but I mean I've had worse. Now of course we're all invisible because we're good at squatting. And because of that, Leo Bay is currently wondering where the hell the enemy army is. Now his army is mostly militia, but he does have some Jan Sword Guard cavalry. Who could potentially be quite nasty. We've also got these Yi archers who are equally quite nasty. So we're gonna have to deal with them. And but worst of all, of course. We have Guan Yu and Zhang Fei, both of who are fucking terrifying characters to face in combat. So, by no means are we going to duel these bastards, because I want my people to live. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to try and separate them one by one and, like, mob them with all three of my generals. <laughs> I reckon three on one, we can probably deal with them. I mean, we, we, I feel like it's a bit hypocritical considering we're all hidden. So currently the only thing the enemy can see are my archers, who are currently raining fire down on the save militia, who are not having a very good time of it. However, I mostly want to take out the enemy archers. I need to deal with the enemy archers first, especially the Yi Marksmen. Who are oof? Just, just nasty. So I need to move my archers forward, and then take out their archers with my archers. That's the plan. And don't shoot at the sword guard because it's not really going to do very much. I mean, it's it's going to do something because I'm shooting them in the flank. But ultimately, I need to deal with the enemy archers first. Especially because currently, they can see me and only my archers. So we're going to push forward with my infantry. You can see that Guan Yu and Zhang Fei are on the flank over here with their cavalry. Unfortunately, I've got no spearmen over here. So I am rushing over. The, the Militia of Virtue to come and save save them. All three of my... I'm, I'm targeting Guan Yu. I'm like, get him. Everyone, get him. So we're going to hit Guan Yu with everything we've got. We're going to debuff him. And it's just a case of, like, just wailing away at him until he dies with any luck. I will cut you to pieces for your treachery. Meanwhile, the enemy this cavalry has engaged my infantry and... Unfortunately, because the ma because the cavalry have been nerfed a bit, they didn't just immediately melt them. And then my spearmen are rushing in to engage the enemy G militia. Yeah, I probably should have sent my spearmen on the flanks. There is a lot of G militia here. Fortunately, my cavalry are starting to flank around and have mobbed the enemy archers. I've only got two units of them, but they are paying for themselves by killing off those archer units for me. And then my archers can then concentrate on the remaining Yi marksmen. And cut them down. So far, so good. Guan Yu has joined the melee with Zhang Fei. But I'm not letting up, and Guan Yu is attempting to break. He's taking a lot of damage, and he's now trying to run away. And down he goes. Unfortunately, that has the slightly negative effect. 
of really pissing off Zhang Fei, which is probably not a good idea. And that means he now has 8.1k melee attack and 2.4k armor piercing. So he's now quite dangerous. So we're going to mob him with everything we've got. He's now on the rampage. So that's good. The Militia of Virtue have arrived to help out against the enemy cavalry, and they're doing very, very well. I don't know what this was, because I didn't actually... I didn't duel anyone, and I didn't run away, so I'm not entirely sure what happened there. But either way. Okay, we've got Zhang Fei kind of mobbed, with twatting him around the back of the head with a big old cannonball on a stick. Just... Can we, can we just please kill him? That's it. Smack him around. Finish him off. Jesus. While that's happening, the enemy army has routed and is fleeing off in all directions. Leo Bay is still hanging around. Trying to chase down my cavalry but not having much effect. Now what I need to do here is actually pull my forces back. Because we're getting split up. And this is not a good position to be in. I need to pull my units back into, um, into some kind of formation. And... Then we can deal with the enemy units as they rally one by one. The Sky Heralds are in here helping out. Um, I'm not sure how much effect they're having on, on Zhang Fei. But Zhang Fei is now trying to run away, which is perfect. Come back here, you little shit. I'm going to bop you so hard. Okay, we've got, and two down. Right, two down, one to go. So our forces are pulling back into formation. Most of our archers have used their ammunition already. But with two generals down, that does mean that a lot of these units are not particularly happy with, with how the battle's currently going. So we just need to see them off. And of course, because this army's marching, I don't think it'll survive. I think it'll die. Leo Bay is really focused on trying to kill my cavalry. But that's fine, because all of my characters, all of my officers are now concentrated on killing him. He's not very happy, though. He's got a fallen relative or two. So, we need to finish him off. We're taking a little bit of damage here, but we can heal ourselves up. What does that even mean? Right, get him, lads. Get him! His match weaving days are over. Show fury. He's the wrong type of people. He may be, you know, for the people, but it's the wrong type of people, and therefore our people are going to show that his people are the wrong people. Can we just look? Get him. Get him. Meanwhile, our units are just chasing down enemy rallying forces as they appear. And to be honest, their morale is so low, they almost certainly just break immediately upon us, attacking them. And, of course, they break three times, they shatter. Leo Bay is running away, army losses have taken effect, and everyone is now fleeing the battlefield. Leo Bay still has a lot of health, but, you know, with all three of my officers currently chasing after him, he's not going to last very long. I hope we didn't need that heads. Our faith was rewarded. Very nice. Probably a bit of income there as well. Oh, come on, Andy. Hello, Leo Bay. I do want your swords. Grant them dignity and death. Yeah. I mean, mostly just the death though, isn't it? Marching. Okay. Okay. Good fucking job. So, some nice new swords for Huang Shao. Ching Ching. Look at that. Look at those bad boys. Hey? Holy shit. Very nice. And, yeah, we're going to lose Dong, but... Lean is the new Dong. Trust me. I've seen it. It's the future. Could get more... I, I, do, I do need a little bit more income. Don't type. More research would be nice, though. How much money do I have? Um... Ah, sure, we'll do that. We'll do that. 
And, of course, Lean does have the coastal trading port, which is very nice. Vent frustration. Uh, how the fuck are you still alive, mate? Shouldn't you be dead? Didn't I just execute you? Did I not just chop your head off? Mate, I don't think you could be running around with your head... <sighs> oh, God! Uh-oh. Uh, nope. Bye. Fall back. Laters. I've got another bloody army. Does that mean I get my replenishment because I'm in my territory now? Because that'd be nice. Alright, well... Confiscate belongings. Extreme indulgence leads to squander. Hoarded wealth invites plundering. Mm. Share the wealth. As I teach a decree that all should have a fair share, as each and every person is equal under the rule of Huang Lao. We have gained a bountiful amount of gold from our recent endeavours, and we must decide how to use it. Distribute that we could give it to our beloved lords. That would be nice. A noble individual. Or keep it all. Um... More satisfaction faction-wide would be nice. Yeah, we'll share it with the officers. There we go. Who the fuck are you? Jan Yong. Diplomats. Well, that seems nice. So... It... Will be short. Okay, so yes, Liu Bei is indeed very dead. And Guan Yu has taken over his faction, so... I mean, he's probably not super happy about the whole executing him thing. Wait, can I reach him? <laughs> I'm like, get him! Get him! <laughs> Kill him! Hello, Guan Yu. Um... Yeah, we'll delegate it. Justice cannot be denied. I should have probably fought that, but never mind. Immediately. Did we not catch any of them? Oh, that's just... Oh, that's shit, isn't it? I mean, it's fun that I killed him, but also I've taken a huge amount of damage, so I probably should have... I should have fought, I should have fought that battle. Should not have not fought it. I should have definitely fought... Is there anything that's going to give us extra replenishment? Because... I could really... You know, considering how much I'm having to fight people, extra replenishment would be super fucking useful. This would give us some defences, which would be potentially quite useful. Hmm. More population growth. Okay, so far, no is the answer to that. I mean, it's not... I guess I could go... I think this is probably the best shout because that's going to give us some extra like damaging things which could be quite useful so let's maybe go for that ben, do not break. let's maybe go for that okay we there, that there is that army there we need to be aware of that one i may need to just assume Beihai is gone because i don't think i can take on that army with our current level of of damage. So I might have to pull back. Lift the peasants. I mean, advancing. It could be worse. Bring news of what occurred. I'm going to head into there and see if that's okay. What I might do is bring this Remain army over honest. because that might it might he might take one look at that and go, yeah, that's too rich for my blood. Rebellion imminent at Dong. Well, yeah. It is under siege though. If anything, that might help drive off the the defending army. Okay, fingers crossed we don't get a tower. Fuck. Okay. I mean, it's a big force, but on the other hand, we've got multiple armies plus the garrison. I, th 
think we'll be okay. Plus, we can heal ourselves, can't we? So, actually... And you're, you're like level one. And I would like your sword. Now, I was a little bit sneaky because my reinforcements actually came in from behind the enemy army. However, what Guan Hai did was because no one could see him, he basically just ran around the enemy army while they were scouting for him and rejoined up with the main Yellow Turban host. So he's now joined up with our main forces. Now, we've been healing ourselves up and, of course, Huang, uh, Huang Xiao has the recovery buff, which means he basically just heals up over time. Anyway, so even though we were a little bit wounded, uh, we're going to heal up, but Guan Hai has spotted an enemy general wandering around and he's going to duel them, send her tumbling to the ground. Is she like a special one? I generally don't know. Her armor looks, looks different. But I can't tell. So we've debuffed her. She's given herself plus 50% melee evasion and then I've removed it all. So, basically, she's screwed. And the rest of the enemy army... Now, they can spot a few of our units. Not all of them, but they can spot a few. I will cut out your heart! Do you ever stop talking? That is rather natty armour, isn't it? I do like that. However, we are easily winning this duel, no problem. That's going to be one enemy general down. Of course, the enemy commander is going to be the tricky one because he's got a nice nice gold blade. And we do have to deal with the enemy army as well, which still has... It's got quite a few units of cavalry. Oh, God. I mean... You didn't kill her, you literally just butchered her. That's her head, for fuck's sake. Alright, well, one down. Two to go. This guy over here, what's his name? Jian Yong? I don't know who he is. I don't remember. But he's got a very natty sword, and I kind of want it. Could come in handy, you never know. So we'll have that one. His army is mostly G militia. Nothing too worrying there. And plus, of course, they have terrible morale. And a bunch of archer militia as well. Should be fairly easy to deal with. Our yellow turbans advancing. The cavalry, the main issue. The rest of it, pretty, pretty standard. And of course, because they can't really see most of our units, we can just wait until they're in range of our archers and, um, well, let them have it. Oof. I mean, that's a heavy deluge of arrows right there. And some jewels have kicked off. As Huang Xiao engages the special guy, Jian Yong. And Huang Gai is taking on the other enemy general. And Pei can actually run into the middle of them and drop yet another of the debuff. What's it called? Wisdom of the River. And that means, of course, these guys currently have no armor and no melee evasion which makes hitting them a lot easier and of course Huang Xiao has Liu Bei's swords which is going to make this a lot easier although he's, he's quite a tricky character to deal with his health is, is quite low we're dealing with him he's getting there and the enemy army has, has shattered. It's completely broken. We have just completely overrun them so quickly. No problem. Can Guan Hai make it two for two? Ooh, close. 
I mean, yes is the answer to that. Yep, down he goes. The enemy army is running all over the place. Managed to deal with the enemy cavalry by using our own cavalry and some swords. And Jian Yong is not long for this world. As Huang Xiao is easily defeating him. I think we just need a couple more hits. He's only got 2k health. I reckon a couple more hits should do it. Oh, it looks like he's actually getting in some lucky hits of his own. I need some more cavalry. Oh, I need some more cavalry because a lot of enemy units just run for their lives. I need, I'd like more arch archery masters. They're just very expensive. Like I'm fairly sure I can, ref Ooh. I can afford an entire stack of peasant archers for the cost of one, one archery master. So I've pulled my units back so that we can deal with the rallying enemy units one by one. The cavalry charged in there, but that's fine. Our peasant warriors can uh, give them a taste of spade or whatever. And our archers can see off pretty much anyone else. I wonder if Leo Bay has any other armies. I'm super happy with that result. What a result. From the roots to heaven. What a result. Good stuff. I don't really want a stone pig. I do want 800 money, so I'll Return take that. I do want your sword, though. So, you know, I'm really sorry about that. We should not waste resources on them. They fought only for their beliefs. No yeah. I fought to get their swords. The oh my god, who are you? I, I do like, because I'm right, so I'm using the mods, um, make them unique. Which adds a whole slew of new characters, or should I say, adds unique models to a whole slew of characters. And does it in a way that actually fits in so well with the base game. I have had some comments that are like, have they done another update and added characters in? It's like, no, it's, it's literally just a mod and it's fucking amazing. Sacrificial make- I, like, I don't know who this person is, but it looks like she's actually been added- like, it's, it's such a good mod. Like- Kudos. Holy shit. Such, such, so good. Uh, right, so we're going to get... Oh, I kind of want encourage, but ranged block chance would be quite nice. I'm actually going to go with that, because if we open up with archers, we can actually make sure that like if if we if we if we try and take out their archers first, we can buff our archers with a hundred percent range block chance, and then their archers can't do shit to us. Basically, we we've just got free shots on them. So I'm going to do that. Um, I now. I think it's just scholars that Remain can have honest. can have single hand weapons. What have you got? Strength of the lands, charge resistance and armor, or commanding shout. More melee charge bonus. That sounds quite nice. We'll have that one, thanks. Okay, so far, so bloody good. Hello. The people's voice cannot be silenced. Again, should have probably fought that battle, but never mind. We've oh, got a lovely little clay man. What have you got? I don't really need any of that. So I'm just going to release you. Return them to their kin. They fought only for their beliefs. And take On more money. I return. Holy people. shit. It's actually looking, looking pretty good. I return. 
Like, I was a bit worried there, but actually, look at this. It's all, it's all, I mean, we've got 11k in the bank. We've got a little clay warrior. We've got diplomats. So that's quite nice. Is that, right, what's, which one's better? So that's, so they're both 24 melee attack. This one gives, gives campaign movement range when commanding. This one... So it's actually got a little bit more melee attack, but this has got more armor piercing. This does give cunning. So we could maybe go for the cunning and the archery. I'm, I'm tempted to do that. Okay, let's let's give you that sword. Because that's going to give you a little bit more cunning. Which means that we can then maybe get some more archery masters. Now the only thing is, the archery masters are very expensive. And we have no money. So... I mean, they're almost dead as well. I could... Hello. A little, little rebellion. We'll rush back and we'll see if we can actually deal with that. I don't think we will be able to, but I think it's worth a little shout. So we'll, we'll, we'll do something like that. We also have you and... A legendary hero with unique traits. I mean, I don't know who, though. I don't know what does, that, what does that mean? I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Um, right. Pay is determined. I don't, I don't doubt it. We did that, get that little clay warrior, didn't we? Who... Hmm. Uh, I mean, I guess you can have that. You've got something. What do you have? Well, you don't have anything. Have a little clay warrior then, because that will cheer you up. I mean, actually, you're pretty... You're actually legitimately quite happy you have some heroic victories, that's why. Lost your authority from people in power, all that kind of good stuff. Apparently your acquaintances with you and Xiao... Truly a worthy opponent. Battle and opinions and a, a most agreeable individual. I appreciate time spent in their company. Ah, oh, that's nice. It gets on. Good. Okay, I'm feeling... I'm, I'm, I was a little bit nervous starting this campaign because I, I knew I was starting right in the middle of this knife fight. But so far, it's a knife fight where I'm shanking people. And that's... Will you... What is it with you, old man? Go away. I'm going to see if I can go and relieve Dong. I think Guan Hai can, can do it. I, I believe in him. He's a bit of a boss, let's be honest. Yep, they've buggered off. Perfect. Right. Let's kill this. The people's voice cannot be silenced. To action. Your supplies are fucked. Oh, China. All right, let's kill you. Justice cannot be denied. Indeed, and I'll seize we your supplies. This, in the name of the people. this power will serve the people. Glad to hear it. So, fifty percent. Ooh. Post-battle loot. I'm like, let's let's do that because serve integrity. Bring news. Because I'm all about that. Okay, supplies here are increasing. That's good. We've managed to. I'm I'm surprised we've actually managed to save Dong. To be honest, I thought my Dong was was gone, and yet look at that. Our Dong was safe. Task. Amazingly. Okay, let's see if we can lure in anyone. Ancillaries, we've got another water clock. That's actually quite nice, because 
that extra a little bit of extra, extra replenishment is just so welcome. This, however, is not. Ugh. Why does everyone try to... Why can't they just let the people have what they want? Give the people what they want. Okay, you're still a student. I'm pretty happy with all of this, to be honest. I'm, it's, it's going very well. And we can... I, I think we can maybe push on... I don't know how strong. Speak quickly. You're, you're. I think we've really given Guan Yu, well, Leo Bay anyway. What's left of Leo? We've given Guan Yu a bloody nose. Reject corruption. What's this? Oh, you've got a skill point available. Okay, good. Preach. Is there anything that's going to give us extra money? No. Is disappointing. Stiff bones become supple limbs. Good, good, good to hear. If we get subtlety, then we can go for focus, which is going to give us three percent income faction wise, which is kind of what I want to do. So we'll do that. And is that so? Like, so I sent you off to do a thing. I suppose you'll you'll get there next turn, won't you? You'll start doing it next turn, and then are we going to get like hello? Hello there. You just just turned up, did you? Just thought you'd done. Oh, hello. Yeah, you keep doing that. <laughs> like I'm going to retake Bay High. Actually, no, I've changed my mind. I have. I have changed. I'm 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 out. I'm gone. Later's. Okay, we'll kill you. The only problem is I'm not making any ground. I've like I've beaten up a whole bunch of people, but I've I've not made any ground. Okay, instill heroism. Many people have come forward offering to join our humble cause. What virtues will you most look for in volunteers? Oh, okay, is this what this is? So frugality. Uh, character recruited. Estimated. Okay, so humility or compassion. Uh, humility. In summer. The days are longer, fuller, and sweeter. Good to know. Thanks. Thanks for sharing. So we've got a builder. Is he is that good? Minus two construction time is is not bad. But I wouldn't say it's like amazing. What's he got? He's vain. He's perceptive and competitive. Right. I mean, the fact that he increases the retinue upkeep by 25% means that he's fucking gone. I could banish him. Give me more money. Fuck it. I'm just going to get rid of him. So, yeah. Good good fucking job finding people I don't want. What faction? What faction? You Gongsun? You Gongsun's out? I didn't even realise I was at war with him. I thought we weren't at war. Apparently we are at war. Oh well. Hello? Our faith was rewarded. Um I'm just going to get rid they of him. They have suffered enough. To action. Another branch grows. I thought you were sprouts. marching. Why aren't you dead? To battle! Our victory is proof of heaven's approval. Good. Um. Return them to their kin. I don't really see the point in in killing us, to be honest. To the task. Like the oak and sapling, ruler and ruled must stand. Oh, in a little harmony. bit concerned that they they may decide to come in and take that settlement now, or just or just raid it or something. I don't know. Remain honest. I don't know. We will see. We will see. Right, Unyielding Earth is... 30 seconds of plus 100% melee evasion is very nice. Inspiring Surge, though, 
decreases the cooldown of abilities for everyone around, which is super good. So we're going to grab that. Because that's too good not to have. You've you've killed a lot of people, but you know you are super friends with Huang Shao, so that's good. You're an academic as well. Six percent character experience. Minus seven. Is that is that dropped? I genuinely don't know. So you're a pupil. You get four percent. No, no. So it increases. Okay, so it, it slowly increases the amount of character experience you get, but it also in decreases the reduction in your character salary. Fine. So that's what that does. The mightiest tree survives on its roots. So let's get the. Should we get the scholars' lodge? So we got the communal irrigated farm. So we're getting a little bit of income. It's not a huge amount, but we do have three food, so we could pretend. Well, mind you, that's going to give us. For the people. Hello. Who said you could lay siege? I didn't even fucking realize that. To I didn't fucking realise he was there. Hmm. 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 I bet Gong Sun Zan's not happy with... Was that his wife or something? I bet it was. He's going to be super not happy. On the other hand, he does have Dreadbringer. So... Maybe pissing him off not the worst idea. I'm going to march to Bay High because if I don't, then they may well decide to... To conquer it, and it'll be kind of annoying if they do that. You know what I'm going to get? I'm going to get the, for the forges here. Would be quite nice because that's actually going to give us ten percent replenishment, which I desperately need. And we're going to get the scholars' lodge as well because I've got money from killing all these bloody aristocrats. So they're all dead, and I've stolen all their money, and now I'm going to use it to build a forge. So suck on that, guys. But that's going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.